we're talking about the opportunities here, which is always interesting, and the drivers. But what are the headwinds right now? Is it the clinician? Is it the referring uh, continuum? Is it the reimbursement? Is it the lack of technology that's gotten the attention for people's organizations like Tay and others to aggregate easier access? So um, Tay, your, your take on that as an entrepreneur and also an MD. Yeah, so I think that that's really a great question, Joe. And I think that, you know, we, we, we face this innovation of new technology and then the costs related to those. And I think there's, the answer to that is two. I think for many years as a vascular surgeon, the education of patients has really lacked as they've entered stage three, stage four, and eventually stage five. I think the patients are lost between primary care sometimes. If they've got a great nephrologist, there'll be some ongoing education. And of course, you know, speaking as an American, in our country, we have regions where the people are getting great nephrology care, and there may be underserved areas where the care isn't that good. I think the education of the patient has to start at an earlier phase. And I'm really happy that I think social media, if you look at what's happening in social media, a lot of renal failure patients are rallying on social media to learn about renal failure, renal disease, diet. I think the next level that is really the, the headwind is the cost the cost of dialysis, who's gonna bear that cost? In America, most patients after a few months uh, will be get, eventually get Medicare. I think Medicare will provide some of those resources, but if there's technologies that are coming along that are very expensive, um, patients may have fears of setting up home hemodialysis systems in their homes, fear of sticking their fistulas with needles at home, having the support structure at home. I think it's a balance of innovation, cost, and the lack of education globally on renal disease. And I think that's the opportunity that will really will change uh, going forward. And I think we're entering those realms now where patients are really getting educated about the opportunities that take care of themselves. And the home environment might be one of the best places for that. It's less daunting there. Mm -hmm.